Hi, and welcome back to Just Plants, Ma'am, where we make plants for the people. Today, I decided to try a recipe that I saw Rose from Cheap Lazy Vegan make. She had it on her channel a few days ago, and it was ketchup pasta. And I was like, ketchup pasta? That sounds rather disgusting, but I'm going to watch it anyways. So, as I was watching the video, I thought, hello, use your brain. Your kids always put a ton of ketchup on their pasta anyways. Like when you make mac and cheese, what do all kids ask for? Where's the ketchup? And then you're standing there like, why did I just waste my time making this vegan mac and cheese for you children who are just going to put ketchup all over it? So, save yourselves a whole ton of trouble and just skip the whole cheese part and let's just make mac and ketchup. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. This is what we're going to do today, people. We are going to add some carrots and some tofu and some other things and it's going to be amazing. So if you want to see me make some ketchup pasta for my kids, come with me. Water in a pot so you can boil your pasta. I suggest putting in a lot so it has room to swim. You're going to need one small onion and you're going to want to chop it up finely. The key is finely so you can cook it quickly and have it disappear so your children will not object to the fact that there is onions in the pasta. I totally get where the kiddos are coming from because I myself am not a big fan of undercooked or a bunch of raw onion. Mm -mm. That stuff has to be marinated, dehydrated, or very well cooked for me to want it. Let's spice them up a little bit. Add some chili powder to taste. Not too much, especially if you have a spicy chili powder. So just a little flavor we're going for. And stir. Put your favorite organic pasta in your boiling water. I get this one from Costco. Now, if you're lucky, you will find one or two vegetables that your child will actually agree to put in their mouth. One of the vegetables that my children will agree to is carrots. So, whatever veggie your child will like, let's add that to the onions. Nobody likes wet tofu, so let's give it a little, little blanket of paper towels and set it aside. If your kids are not going to freak out because you add some bell peppers to this pasta, then let's put some bell peppers in it. Finally dice them, but otherwise leave them out. And of course garlic, because I put garlic in everything. So crush some garlic and then throw both of those into the frying pan. If you want to cut your tofu into cubes, this would be the time to do so. Or if you don't want to do that, you don't have to. You can just crumble it directly into your frying pan. It is up to you. This is a medium firm tofu, so it gets crumbly anyways. Let your tofu fry for a little bit and then let's add in some either soy sauce or Paul Bragg or coconut aminos. You pick. Since this is going to be a ketchup sauce anyways so you're going to be having tomatoes on top of your pasta already so I figure I'm going to sneak a fresh tomato into these children without them even knowing so I'm going to dice it up really fine after your tofu has been frying for a while you don't want to put it in there when it's wet no so after your tofu has been frying for a while add the tomato now let's add our chopped tomatoes to our pan and I always like to just season it up a little bit extra just because I'm extra like that. So I put in a little bit of chili powder, a dash of cumin, and a sprinkling of garlic powder. Now the fun part, the part your kids have been waiting for. Oh yes, the star of the show. Ah, da, 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 ketchup, because it's ketchup pasta. Yes, season up your tofu and your veggies with some ketchup. Let's not forget about our noodles, people. You don't want soggy, limp noodles. You want them a little bit firm. Check them out. 
Let's not forget about our tofu. No, you don't want to forget about it in the frying pan, especially after you add the ketchup to it because all the like sugar and stuff will start to stick to the bottom of your pan. So make sure to stir it frequently. You did it. You just made the most perfect pasta ever. Congratulations. Add some of your favorite vegan margarine to your pasta. Now, the piece de resistance, the ketchup. Oh yes, the ketchup. Hooray. Let's put some ketchup in there. I don't want to put a ton in right now, but put enough to coat all the pasta and then add your tofu and stir. I probably could have used two blocks of tofu because I made way too much pasta. Yep. I'm that person. I'm that person that always makes way too much pasta because I'm always like, that's not enough. We need more. But yeah, next time two blocks of tofu. There you have it. Add some more ketchup, give it to those kids and watch them eat it up. I just wanted to say thanks to Rose from Cheap Lazy Vegan for the amazing recipe inspiration. I would have never thought of this without seeing her videos. So love it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining me on this recipe edition of Just the Plants, Ma'am, where we make plants for the people. Mm -hmm. And I hope that you pretty plant people are having a glorious day. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. And I will see you all next time.